Hello, so in this video we will talk about an application of uh, graphs, a very simple application. So what we want to do is we want to do this, we want to solve the puzzle of the farmer, wolf, goat and cabbage. So it's a very well known puzzle and uh, most of us already know it but I'll just write the rules here again. So what we have to do is we have to uh, make the, a farmer, wolf, cabbage and goat cross a river using a boat which can only take two entry at a time maximum. Wolf and goat cannot be together without the farmer and or wolf would eat the cabbage or wolf would eat the goat and similarly goat and cabbage cannot be together without the farmer or goat will eat the cabbage and then farmer should be there on any every trip because farmer is the only one who knows how to steer the boat so our strategy is what so our strategy is uh, write all the allowable uh, we'll say states as vertices of our graph okay so for, for example if I say uh, my vertex a corresponds to farmer goat wolf and cabbage on one side of the river and nothing on the other side of the river okay similarly my B corresponds to farmer wolf and goat on one side and cabbage on the other note that these are all the allowable states which follow all these rules here okay so these are all our states okay with with these labelings so our job is to find a path from a to okay so then we start to construct our graph so for example this is my a here okay from a i can go to f because f is what i can take the farmer can take the goat on the other side leaving the wolf and cabbage behind so for a we'll go to f from f we can go to d okay so d is where here so farmer has to come back leaving the goat on the other side so from D we have two options we can go to I or we can go to H why I so here if we go to I this means I'm the farmer is taking the wolf on the other side and for H it means the farmer is taking the cabbage on the other side okay so let's pursue this I path here from I we have to go to C because C is where now farmer is bringing the coat back okay so remember I was where I was here farmer um, farmer wolf and goat and then he has to bring the goat back because he cannot leave the goat with the wolf okay now from C we have to go to G now what we have to do we have to take the cabbage on the other side now so then g goat is on the other side and farmer wolf and cabbage on on here now this is my e and from here i have to go to e so that i can the farmer can come back and we have farmer and goat and wolf and cabbage and then the last one farmer can bring the goat on the other side and end up at j Similarly, you can easily see that from H, we have to go to B, and from B, we have to go to G, and then we end up at the same path, okay? So then what we have to, what we have done is, we have created a path from A to J using how many crossings? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 edges, okay? So we can say that path length in, in our graph terminology we can say path length is equal to 7 so in terms of the actual trips we can say 7 trips 7 trips are required okay so this is a very 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 simple application of uh, what we can do with with graphs and, and their, their paths 
okay so we all know i mean this is not very hard to uh, hard to solve even without the graph but with graph you can see that if we if we do it systematically it's it becomes very very you know very methodical and very easy to uh, to see the solution of the problem so this is it about uh, this uh, this was a small uh, example about an application of the graphs and we will do many many more uh, in future uh, for graphs uh, which may be more complicated than this so this is it for this puzzle and uh, thanks for watching hope you liked the video